Hello everyone, I'm Andrew, and this is a Borderlands 2 Spotlight on the Mechromancer. Gage is her name, and calling upon a hulking robot pet is her game. Fans of having pets in their games are rejoicing, since Gage's special ability is unleashing a hulking robot named Death Trap that melees the crap out of enemies. Gage also rounds out the male to female ratio a little bit, making Borderlands 2 just a smidge less filled with hulking, gun blazing male protagonists, adding that little extra, I don't know, robot producing female protagonist that we all needed so badly. Anyone who pre ordered Borderlands 2 has the option of playing as her now, and chumps that didn't pre order Borderlands 2 can nab this expansion pack for 10 bucks. The expansion pack also comes with the other pre-order goodies including the Gearbox Gold Gun Pack, a Golden Key, and the Vault Hunter's Relic. But enough of that, let's talk about the Mechromancer. Death Trap works as a nice bodyguard for Gage. The hulking robot uses melee attacks to keep enemies at bay, and it's quite the powerful combination. Almost too powerful. Just hit your action skill button and away he goes. The AI implemented by Gearbox is actually pretty good, there's even a sort of aggro system. So if you shoot an enemy, he may come running after you. At the same time, if you're in a huge firefight and unleash Death Trap, he won't really pull all the enemies to him either, but he'll grab a good portion of them with just a few to pick off with Gage. Gage's skill trees are called Best Friends Forever, Little Big Trouble, and Ordered Chaos. First one to look at is Best Friends Forever, and this tree seems to be sort of a hand-holding tree. Most of the skills are there to help you when you aren't doing your best, like the skill Close Enough, which will cause bullets to ricochet towards your enemies when you miss. Also the skill Made of Sterner Stuff just straight up reduces all damage to you in Death Trap. Finally, the final skill in this tree, Sharing is Caring, gives a copy of your shield to Death Trap so he lasts longer on the battlefield. The next tree is called Little Big Trouble, which focuses on adding elemental damage, mostly electrocuting damage by the way, and reducing elemental damage to yourself. The skill Shock and Ugg causes an electrical explosion when you reload your weapon, damaging nearby enemies, and the skill Evil Enchantress increases your burn, electrocute, and corrode damage after you kill an enemy for a short time. The last skill in this tree, Make It Sparkle, makes it so that when you shoot Death Trap with an elemental weapon, it charges him with that, causing his melee attacks to deal additional damage of that element. Finally, Ordered Chaos is kind of a tricky tree. It's all about give and take. Will you give up accuracy for damage? That's the basis for the skill Anarchy, which stacks the more you kill enemies or unload weapon clips without manually reloading. Which can be a little tricky when you're first starting out with this skill. I know it was tough for me to not reload right after killing an enemy. You can balance your stack of Anarchy with the skill Discord. Manually reloading will cause a Discord to start and it'll boost your fire rate, accuracy, and regenerate health. But you'll be losing a constant amount of Anarchy stacks while it's active. Simply manually reload again to stop losing Anarchy and start building it up again. The final skill in this tree is With Claws, a skill that gives you claws similar to Death Traps. Whacking an enemy twice in a row will unleash Digistruct Claws and deal damage based on the number of Anarchy stacks you have. I could see this coming in handy on a boss where you have so much Anarchy that your accuracy is terrible, and then unleashing all that Anarchy in a melee swipe that hits for some big damage. One last note. Depending on what tree you decide to go into, Death Trap's looks will change. He'll get stickers on his back that show what tree you specced into, as well as other cosmetic changes. Gage is a pretty versatile character, and her ability is sure to satisfy fans of pets and robots. And that concludes this Borderlands 2 Spotlight. Check back soon for more Borderlands 2 Spotlights. If you liked the video, hit the like button below. For more shooter news, click the subscribe button above, or follow us on Facebook or Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching.